one. Yeah, this is the Plus Tainment Show. We'll be starting shortly. Broadcast video is live. You probably Yay. are like, watching on YouTube. Some of you are watching on YouTube right now. We are on All three of you. Well. We appreciate it. And well. Super Jew Man here today. Matt Mikowski is here, better known as Super Pilot Jew Man. Hello, Super Jew Man. Hello, Mr. Rappaport. Good to see you today. Good to see you. Hey, Super Jew Man, did you ever, when you were younger or even like yesterday, anyone ever say, hey, Matthew, what's going on? Did that ever happen to you? No, it's never, no one's ever asked me what's going on. No one gives a shit what's going on with me. No one cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying like, you know, instead of calling you Matthew, they called you Matthew. Did that ever happen? Does that happen to me a few times? They call me Matthew? You've never heard of that? Okay. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't exactly live like a, with a league of... Um, Extraordinary uh, gentlemen, yeah, I get it. Extraordinary gentlemen, or let's just say anti-Semites. I don't work with a league of a certain... Well, anti there's anti-Semites and there's just, you know, eh, 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 you know, one of those things, whatever that is. Hey, I mean, I always get the brain. Pinky in the brain, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. We just lost the entire... <laughs> Jewy, no, oh, we just Jew, lost the entire Jewish it? demographic before <laughs> anybody runs off. Those are the only people watching, so, oh well. Yeah, but all the, uh, all, all three Jews watching... Matthew and I. Oh, we're Jews uh, and ice. You know, can I do my bar mitzvah right now? Uh, no, I think I, it's copyrighted. I do my haftarah. Like my haftarah is not copyrighted except oh, Come on, can give me a little bit? It's Pesach. We can't do haftarah. Oh, God, the guy is eating. He's, you're, you're eating non-Passover candy on Pesach and doing your bar mitzvah at the same time. Jane Allen, how was your Easter? EW. Uh, it was delightful, thank you so much. I spent part of it with you, and and part of it. <laughs> part of spent, it with Stoops. I spent part of it with Stoops. Oh, can you? Is it getting on your mustache? That's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, it was delightful. I made Nathan sick by feeding him too much food. It's what I do, and uh, you know, so now he won't be able to eat for two days. And get ready to film that video. Which again, whenever I say filming a video, I feel like I'm talking about porn, but an actual an actual music video. Because I think people make more sex tapes than they do actual video and film work with the people I know. I'm going to do Jew porn. Really? How is that yeah, different? I'm, it's, well, it's going to be like orthodox Jew porn. What I do is I put a, a sheet on top of my wife, cut a hole in it. All right, and that's all the time we have from Matt Mikowski. All right, that's awesome. Welcome to the Plus Tainment Show. We are live. Clay Calloway is watching us on the YouTube saying live. Huh? Do you Clay. know Clay Calloway? Yes, I do. Clay and I go way back. Way back to last night? or what was No, that? no, no. Clay is a very fine gentleman. He, he just you say knows. he's fine. Do you mean like H-O-W-T or H-A-W-T? Or? That as well, but he's a fine gentleman. He made me soap. Corny? Mm -hmm. For Cocoa Puffs? No, he made me soap. He's he made you made. soap? Mm -hmm. Is that a verb? N no, it's, he actually made soap that you would wash yourself with. He made, oh, he made okay. soap. I thought you were making a really terrible, awful, God forbid, Jewish you know, reference. When somebody, yeah. gives you, when somebody gives you soap in a present, that, that's like, it's like you stink. <laughs> I know, it's like a clue. But well, it, you, you need soap. You smell. You need to lather yourself up there. I, what? I do smell, but I smell delicious. And so does his soap. Clay Calloway's soap from Clay Calloway's farm. I think it's goat soap or something. He does stuff with goats, which is why I've got the horns today. See? Full circle. Wow. So this is Blessed Tainment Show. We talk about lots of stuff, but we do talk about TV and movies. We will get there eventually, but Matt Mikowski may or may not be a regular member of our crew. I don't know. He's like auditioning. You know, Matt Mikowski and his, his piloting ways. I don't know. Matt, are we, what altitude are we at right now? <coughs> right. Sea level. In case you on drugs. <laughs> we're, 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 we're physically at sea level, but our show, where is our show? I'm actually, uh, right now I'm at 665 feet above sea level. Above sea level. All right, you play R that rough. Snickers I'm like, it's, buffalo. like it's keyboard. I'm in Buffalo. Yeah, Are you I'm in Buffalo? I'm in the school Buffalo. Uh, did you go to Duff's or, or Anchor Bar or just have some wings? Uh, I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just He's here just right there. Now. You just don't want chicken, do you want chicken wings? Do I, do I watch? Do you, you want, want chicken want wings? Want buffalo yeah, wings. I mean, the, the chicken wings here are delicious, by the way. They're phenomenal. You need to go to Duff's. That is the place. Is that is that the place at the airport? Uh, I don't think so. There's an anchor bar, which is known where the home oh. of the wings, but Duff's is the place you want to go. It's like, they have like crazy What about eye. Steak and Lube? They have wings. Uh, sure. Steak and Lube is delicious. Whatever that I is. I love Steak and Lube. It's yeah. an actual oh restaurant. God. We're not making that up. Steak no, and Lube real. is a steak restaurant. Steak and Lube is real. I went. I ate there tonight. I had um, I had a half rack of ribs, which I had, like no meat on. 
and I, I thought you decided to go for the full rack. No. Hey, I'm so did you get? Did you get it already? He's already bringing his heritage with him. Uh, afterwards, I went to Dairy Queen. You sound like Raymond, yet you're <laughs> you're you're a heap. Oh, that's nice. A good thing you didn't finish that. Right. Well, What's, what is your secret to weight loss? Just uh, continue to eat. Yeah, I it is eat. irritating, isn't it? He eats, I just keep eats constantly. I just keep eating, and now I'm eating. You do pu you. I hurl the people. Ice cream of the I night see. Night. Wow. So I I hurl the people. You hurl in the bathroom. Nice. What's uh, it like to What's it like to hurl at 20,000, 30,000 feet in the bathroom? Is it fun? To take a dump at 20,000, 30,000? No, to hurl, to have uh -huh. to hang out oh. in real life. Or it's to puke. Or to puke. Oh, to, to, to hurl or oh. puke in the bathroom? Yeah. That would, just, that would happen to me. Hey, Lynette Young is watching, and she says, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, all there in one lovely hangout. Which one? So see, hear, and speak. Which one is which? Did I don't you know. Lynette Young is on? L Lynette yeah, Young did you is Yeah, did you just get a snicker boner? Or? Did, um... Didn't, didn't Bruce Springsteen open for her? Yes. Um, yeah, yes, sure. it's South by Southwest. Lynette mm. Young is... And by Bruce Springsteen, you mean Ryan Van Sickle. I love hey, Lynette Young. I'm going to show her my love right now. Yeah, that's nice. Your love is getting old real quick. That's good. Well, I did, I did watch uh, Dancing with the Stars. Um, Brooke had informed me just how hot a show it was. And i got to say, my boyfriend Max really brought it with... He, there's really only one other person whose twelve pack is as firm as Max's, and that is Mikowski's. But he only does that in his photo shoots. Oh, you know, I didn't know you were talking about beer. Is this is a beer show. Out. No, 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 because no, right. he's, he's you know he's always unbuttoning his shirt and all that business. So Max is smoking, and his partner is Melissa Gilbert. Max has worms, by the way. Max, Max is Max is going after Little House on the Prairie. Or is he here? Yeah, and Max apparently has worms. Yeah, Would Michael Landon approve of his worms or his, or his dancing with his TV daughter? And his All I know is uh, I was watching her as they're giving the results, and she's got her arms around. I was like, yeah, I would get every piece of that I could for the, the, the duration of the show. Every piece. Insane. Kind of like and the Snickers that are falling pieces that are falling out of McCaskey. But the, the show... Yeah, the, the show me? Uh, I have a necklace on. And so oh, nice you're pointing that out. Yeah, but she's trying to match the horns on her head. Hey, Jane, I liked you in uh, in uh, Game of Thrones this week. You did? Yeah, yeah. You had like two dragons on your shoulder and stuff. I know, I know. Yeah. I get okay. around, you know. I do a lot of film work, so. Yeah. Game of Thrones is a TV show that we talk about. Hey, shut up, Mikowski. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> is that copyrighted? I don't know, but you better shut up because you're going to get around. You get I heard you get around. I heard you get around by flights, like a flight simulator. <coughs> I get all of them. I mean sex. I'm talking about sex. Hey, so you're married. Is that a true story, or you just made that up? Who, me? No, the other Matt. Um, I thought you could have... I, I am married. That is true. That is true. Cool. Is, is, she, is, she like the, is she like the wife on Everybody Loves Raymond, or...? She, you know what's funny? She looks a lot like her. She's a little, little haughty. <laughs> yeah, but does she act like her? Does she make you feel guilty? If you say act like her, do you mean a pain in the ass in that sense? <laughs> if, you, if you said it, I don't know. I've never met your wife. <clears throat> if if oh. I said... Does your, is your wife watching right now? No, no. She's um, not allowed. Does she, know that, does she even know that you're on Google Plus and what it is? She caught me on Google Plus. She knows what it is, but she is um, not... I do not circle her. Did she, <laughs> did she catch you with your pants down or what happened? She might as well have, practically. All right. She, uh, she Googled me on, and, and my name just came up everywhere on Google Plus. It was a little bit of a, it was a little bit of a discussion that we had as to why there are so many women in my circles. <laughs> did you so, tell? Did you, did you tell her they're all married too? Uh, I I told her that that <laughs> most of them are married. married. <laughs> and her this response little, was, "This is a this is a TV show right here." But, but she was she was in the end, she was turned on by it. Uh -huh. It actually turned her on to see so many women that were physically attracted to me and my my mustache. Was she shocked by that? Is that what you're trying to say? That was weird. She she was a little bit shocked, but in the end she came around. I I I said I said well I'll just I'll just quit Google Plus then you know and I'll just that'll just be the end of my life. <laughs> so are you saying are you saying you and her don't have fun when you're not on Google Plus? Is that what you're trying to say? We have. You're of having more fun with that fake that mustache than but you do in my, marriage, my right? Jew man. My Jew man mustache. 
No, we, we um, you know, I'm just never home, Matthew. So we don't actually, we do have some fun on the weekends, but I'm not usually, I'm not home at all during the week because, of course, I'm check piloting mm -hmm. other flights. And wouldn't she rather know that you're on Google Plus than you're, than it's, than doing other stuff? I'm not sure that it's very comforting. <laughs> That's not a comforting thing. Jay, what do you think? You're, I heard you kind of are married. Do you feel like that would You be heard comforting? I'm kind of married? Is that what you said? That's what I heard based on the Google Plus uh, statements, but... I'm kind of married. You're kind of As a matter of fact, my spouse uh, stalks me on Google Plus and all of my social media platforms. And, and everyone who comments on all of the stuff that is posted publicly, I get a litany of, who is that? 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 And the answer is that? always Mikowski. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much it. Or Rob. Uh, the answer is Mikowski. Yeah, oh, well, he knows all about Mikowski. Yeah. But, yeah, to, is it just who is that? Who is that? Actually Do you actually fight, know them? I actually had a fight with my janitor this week in my office. Really? Speaking, speaking of masturbating. I had, wow, I had we, a fight wow we never, ever, ever did. did. Yeah. Right. Somehow I came up. But I did have a fight with my janitor this week. Can you put it away? It's away. Mm -hmm. I put it away. Boom, that was smooth. And yeah. so was there more to that story than you and Google yeah. hunting? Or? Well, there, there, I mean, you know, it's, it, I, I have a little, I have an office uh, where, I, where I come in once a week. Why do you need an office? Do you spend your life on a plane? I, I spend, uh, there's times I'm in the office, there's times I'm in the aircraft, but I have to have a place to go during the day sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm not flying. I mean, he can't always be at my house. Matt. I, I have a waste basket. This is the craziest thing. I have a waste basket in my office. It's a new, it's a new, new office, and it's there's a waste basket with no liner in it, right? So that's gonna make so you I, crazy. So I start, I start throwing crap in there. First on plan, I start throwing like paper goods in there, and he takes the paper goods away. You know, he throws them away, and the next morning I come in, and the waste basket is turned upside down in the corner, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, whoa, dude, give me a liner. Right, but no, he makes it as if I as if I shouldn't even use it. Seriously. So what? Do, so what? So I'm now like in this. I'm in this cold war between me and the janitor, right? So so what do I do today? What do I do? Sorry, yesterday is I shoot up a lot of gum and I spit it into the dry waste basket. Oh my goodness, that's a liner. <laughs> and, I, and I left it out for him. Wow, and, and that is that is nutty. Hey, I like I like uh, the cut of your jib there, seller. But today I have no. The, I'm talking about Jay, by the way. He gave me back. He wouldn't give me back my waste basket today. So I you don't have took a the, You took basket. it away. You might. You may or may not get your waste basket. But Alex Lynn is watching, and Callie said our show rocks. But Alex Lynn said Gabriel's Gate is better. I don't really know Gabriel's Gate. Do you guys know Gabriel's Gate? Oh, Gabriel's I was going to say that's what I call something else, but you might be have an issue. Gabriel, why? But there's a Gabriel in the mix. Right. Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Wow. Did Gabriel? What, what's the song? Gabriel's Spin the wheel or spins the wheel. There's kind of melody in, in the religious sect of that non-Jewish. Uh, hey, horn. so Dancing with the Stars. So what was the final outcome? We we just to wrap that up. Um, was it a wastebasket? Uh, as I told thing? you, I just watched the show and haven't hit the results yet. But the big deal on it was, jeez, um, what? The, I'm just gonna blank out now. Urkel, what's his name? He's going to be called Urkel the rest of his Jaleel life. Jaleel White. Jaleel White. Okay, uh, he totally should really be him. called Jaleel Off White, but you know, is that racist? Well, he was. Well, yes, I think it was. Oh. But you can come back with a Jew remark or something. You know, oh yeah. Little even now. Little even now. But what they they were going for emotions on this one, and so everyone had to. And I don't know how it really worked out. Do you mean like a cool. glass jar of emotions? Yes. Okay. And what they were supposed to do was what year had the most impact on your life and Wait, whatever. is this Dancing with the Stars Dancing or American with the Idol? Stars. It's Dancing with the Stars. Are they trying and they've to copy never done that up? before that I've mm -hmm. noticed. And so, of course, I fast-forwarded through much of it because I found it incredibly boring. But Did you do the... Yeah. 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 yeah, I went... No, I go... Oh, you, you make it like a mosquito? All right. Sure, like a mosquito. Like a Matt mosquito. Like a Matt McCowskito. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, cow, I'm a, cow, I'm a, I'm a Hey, what happened? Did, did you put, did you get poked in a snicker eye or what? I mean, let's see what happens. You eat too much Snickers and you don't get fat. You get, you lose an eye. So <laughs> you're going to eat your eye out. That's what happened. So anyway, it, most of the people were crying and stuff. And, um. A half naked, beautiful Jane Ellen. <laughs> that's half true. So sweet. What do you mean it's half true? 
I'm only half beautiful? What's wrong with you? You're Gilberto. Only you're only half naked. You're only half naked is my point anyway. How would you know? How would you I, know? Well, if we're, I'm a betting man. I'm guessing. How would you know? I'm in my house. Why do I have We're allowed to make predictions. House? I'm predicting that you're only half naked. All right. I'm predicting that Mikowski wants to tell everyone that... Are you going to get a tattoo of a ghoul on your forehead or no? Mikowski. Sorry? Uh, yes, you are. Uh, Jay, continue. Pay for that? <laughs> anyway, so he completely broke down because he said how he'd been entertaining people since he was three and after they do all their dances and they get their scores, everyone scored pretty high, much like Mikowski does. And... So they, it, it was a really excellent show. Now, some of them, of course, are not as great dancers as others, and some of them, I don't even know who they are. Well, the three of us should be on Dancing with the Stars. I do not know who half the people are. I know the professional dancers, but I don't know the stars. But it was a good show. Because sometimes you've got a bunch of people It's like, oh, my God, get them all off. We time. already decided that they're not stars. They're just people that someone... Yeah. Yes, I know, but I mean, Gladys Knight, she... Come on. It's dancing with the senior tour stars. Senior tour, senior citizens? Senior tour. They're like, these, these are people that are on the senior... Well, Jaleel White is obviously still a kid, mostly. And, uh, yeah, he's... 30? Uh, we could um, look 30. that up. And Melissa Gilbert looks amazing. And mm. then there are a bunch plastic of helps. Yeah. I, I totally support uh, my plastic surgeon, so... Oh, yeah? Are you talking about surgery, or are you talking about down, down, go wow, wow? Oh, I meant like, surgery. My, my plastic surgeon is a woman. Do you guys believe that... Oh, a woman. All right, maybe she's, she likes to go about face. Do you believe but that she hasn't pay? But I've had no face yet, but trust me. But do you believe that people pay for plastic surgery with sex instead of money? No. Can you do that? Can I, I sign up for that? All the time. Mikowski does oh, it. This is a question? Oh, How it's can a I question. do that? Because um, I need some more. And, uh, to, first of all, I would, I would start with a male... Plastic surgery, that might help. Unless. Yeah, there's no unless. But oh, no. Maybe. Uh, you can pay for anything with sex, as far as I can tell you. Anything? Anything. anything what about you want. Well, not, not your taxes. There you go. That's the one thing you can't pay for. That, they're strict about that. I tried. And that's true, but if you get audited, there's always a way out. Well, unless always, that, uh, it depends on who the auditor is. Just like the doctor, the, their preference. If you a woman, I'm passing that audit. Yeah. One way or the other. <laughs> That's, that's because of the, the way your house smells. That's I cannot smell. imagine you ever being audited. or I, I, I would pay money to sit in on those conversations. Well, it's going to be actually on air, and I believe it's happening what, in like 10 days, right? Yeah, I was just informed by my husband that he was going to do the taxes. It's like, well, that is awesome because it's the ninth. Hey, Matt Mikowski, Lynette wants to know how come after all this crap that you eat, you don't have diabetes, or do you have diabetes? <laughs> And you just you just don't will never tell us what your blood sugar is. Is <laughs> in fact, um, happy to say I do not have diabetes. I do have monkey AIDS, but I do not have diabetes. Oh, yeah. So I'm you're medic, saying you're saying your blood sugar is under 100 or something like yeah, that? I have about eight minutes to live, but other than that, I'm fine. A show is longer than eight minutes, so the, this would be the first death ever the on a Google first, Plus Hangout. The first broadcast death. <laughs> broadcast, I think probably ever live. Um, so it would be like a snuff time. hangout. Yeah. Does that mean like, well? That means we can't. Don't die because then we probably can't air it. No, we, look, we've died without him, Matthew. We've I'll, I'll try to stay with you for for longer than well, yeah. but, uh, By the way, this hangout is not brought to you by neither Snickers or that uh, or Pepsi anything, generation. Or yeah, there's nothing like else. attention to that either. Nobody is. I'm just saying we don't have sponsors. If, if you want to be a sponsor, if I could just get a clothing sponsor. If you can get some clothing, we have less viewers. All right. Um, uh, so the end, I might stand up. So I watch Game of Thrones. Matt Mikowski, you don't even watch Game of Thrones, do you? He doesn't even know what it is. giant insulin shot right now. Excuse me. Why giant? Can't it just be normal size? Why does it have to be giant? Nothing on him is normal size. Everything with me is giant. Don't you know that? Everything. Don't you read his post? By the way, James, did Delta ever screw you over? I keep reading a post about you. Not by like South by Southwest. Delta never screwed me repeatedly. Kevin Smith is watching. Come on, we'll talk about South by Southwest. Tell us why you're too fat or why the seat is too small. One of those. Uh, Jane has never been screwed repeatedly by Delta. No, I have never been screwed. I don't think she Delta. knows any guys named Delta, but repeatedly. Repeatedly. So no, Delta. So, so Game of Thrones was good. I liked Delta it. Is ready when you are. I'm just gonna quote Peter Dinklage, and he said he's not questioning your honor, Lord Janos. He's denying its existence. And then he said to a girl, to a guy, he should about a whore. You should taste her fish pie. That's a good line. You like that? Wow. 
You well, know, if a guy know? said you should taste someone's fish pie to me, I, well, she was a cook. They were talking about her cooking skills, right? Oh, well, I... Cause but it's probably an entendre. That means there's some crust involved, and that's kind of gross. Really? Fish pie? You're saying if there's a, a pie implies crust? Pie implies crust. So in Revenge of the Nerds, they were... That implied crust? Pie. Did you not implies see it? Del we were talking about Delta before. Maybe you meant Delta pies, like in Revenge of the Nerds. House. Delta, Delta House. Delta House. Which is from Animal House. Delta no, Secret Delta Revenge. House is from Animal House, but in Revenge of the Nerds, they were the Delta pies. Do you not remember that? That is true. I, I think you're right. You are correct. Well, well you, you saw it when you were uh, when I was still in the womb, weren't you? Mikowski. Uh, Mikowski. That, that's his favorite kid movie. Well, I lost house. my mustache. I'm still Juma Man. Womb. No. Yeah, no, I watched, I was think I was like, what, 10 or under, and I was watching with my dad, so that was, a, that was an interesting moment. You were watching your dad's what? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Okay. <laughs> Clean the wax! What? By the way, I never walked in on my parents. Uh, uh, I never that's did because either. I'm the youngest. My dad was fully clothed. We were sitting there. It was just a, it was just a TV. My mother had a seat over her. Uh, a, of course. A hole in it. Very orthodox Jews. Very. Really? I've shown pictures of my family. What was, the, what was the age when you first enjoyed bacon? Matt McCaskey. Um, what, what was the age? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. What was, when what you was your age? When do you start chewing food? <laughs> when, when does that start? In the womb. I actually. probably suck oh, on chewing. Bacon. Uh, four months is when you, you probably had teeth in the womb. Your cereal, poor mother. So. Your poor mother. I'd say by six months you were on bacon. I, I was on bacon the moment food can enter my. So mouth. your parents not as orthodox as you claim. What orth orthodox Jews don't eat? Are you saying orthodox Jews don't eat bacon? I know they, they made a mistake. Me. This is news to me. And on Pesach, not that not that that means anything. People are like what's Pesach? That's what the Jews call Passover. For the it's like a, a special, special it's club cheap. word. Uh, and uh, was, by the way, Matthew, uh, yeah. let, let's let's be serious here for a second. How was your Pesach? It's going well. It's a little gassy. It's continuing. It's a little. It's a it's a roughage holiday. Did you eat gefilte fish? Of all, all the time. That snotty shit. That's dark. Snotty. Wow. You, that, didn't that, isn't that what they called uh, in spaceballs? Snotty. Beat me up. I actually love the filter. No, it's good. They, I've never know, had it, but I could it, get it here at Nashville. There is a, a great place uh, in Nashville called Nashville, and it course. is full of gefilte fish and everything gefilte-y. You know what's funny about gefilte fish is that there's no two gefilte fish that taste the same. Sometimes they're bitter, sometimes they're sweet, sometimes Are you actually both. talking about food now or women? Both. Is this code? Yes, because I, like I like to date women named gefilte. <laughs> Did you have the bitter herbs? Of course. I don't, I don't eat any of that crap. Oh, no, but that's not, you don't eat it. You take a little bit during the Seder and you do it. You don't, the filter fish you eat, uh, you eat during the week. Like, it's, your, uh, like it's a snack. Stick, did you stick your pinky in the wine glass, like for the 12 play? Yeah, you do, the, you do the bang, 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 bang. You make the noise. Bang, Wait a minute, bang. there's banging? Yeah, there's a lot of banging in Passover. It's the ten, ten plays. Does everybody know what Passover is about? This show should have been about the story it of should have been the story of Passover. Passover. It's yeah. about how we... I what, gotta what tell we, you, what we did never heard do about it. the banging. What exactly we did we do on Passover? Did we escape? The we escaped. escaped. So Moses, who some of you might know as the man that... Uh, got so the Charlton Jews. Heston. Charlton, Charlton Heston. Heston, before he was gun crazy, or maybe he was... Mm -hmm. Charlton Heston freed the Jews. Mm -hmm. Charlton Heston, who's not a Jew himself, I don't think, but I played one on in a movie, was he? Maybe he was. Uh, he said, Ramesses, that's the Pharaoh, let my people go. He and said, Yule Brenner, let my people go. Yeah, and he didn't let them go, so instead there were plagues upon the house of Egypt. And they, there was boils and frogs, and there was darkness and flooding. And then eventually it didn't work, so God killed, sorry for those of you, I don't know, killed the firstborn. So after that, they ran away, they escaped, and while they escaped, the Egyptians were following them, and Moses did what? He parted the Red Sea for a million dollars. And then after he parted the Red Sea, Alan Arkin showed up and said, Unpart the Red Sea, and then they got the water on the Egyptians. And, and kill all the they, Egyptians. they drowned. Killed all the Egyptians. It's kind of an anti-Egyptian story a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but we did, but the Jews that did they all get pyramids, killed. right? So but do, you, do you think maybe back then there was like a Woody Allen type Jew who was like after they killed the firstborn Egyptians, like, you see? So. You see? I pray. I told you. I pray. <laughs> now what I think is a lot of, you have all those Jews together, all those Hebrews or Israelites, they're all wandering the desert, they're like, Moses! 
We just worked our butts off. We're free, and now we're wandering the desert. Yeah, was there any Why complaining? Do you think the when the they were wandering? Look at this prime real estate we got here. Oh, they look. We got the pyramid. We we spent four hundred years building these the pyramids, and we're gonna give them up now. People died. It was all about the whole thing was so they can gather their. Feet. My aunt Mildred died making these pyramids. Fifteen, ten pyramids. The Fifteen Commandments. Command, that commandments. <laughs> anyway, eventually they all threw out their idols, <laughs> and they worshipped one god, the god to Israel of Canaan, and that was the end of it. But we celebrate. We drink wine for cups. You recline. You can't eat bread because we they couldn't the raise the bread. of the Egyptians and no. of the Jews. Yeah, all that stuff. So that's it. That's And then so, Jesus' Last Supper was, he was actually eating the bitter herbs and eating the matzah and having his gefilte fish. And then that was, who knew, that would be, what a crappy last supper, supper right? Yeah. Was there any chocolate? I was going to have my last no supper, shrimp? wouldn't be Passover. No bacon? Not that he could have it anyway. Were you uh, asking Jane Allen's question? This is, no, this is the best version of Passover I've ever heard. It, it's it's abbreviated. That's <laughs> It's a little abbreviated, I have it's to tell a you that. Abbreviated. <laughs> I mean, there's 40 like, years went like that. Everyone's yeah, like, out well, of how, many, how many years went? How many? How many years were the Jews enslaved? It was like, well, no, a long time, but it was 40 years in the desert. I mean, you, you could look it up in the interwebs. for 40 years, but but did the Egyptians have us before we went to the desert? I mean, the Egyptians were so bad we went. Hold to on, the let desert. me let me let me just close my eyes and put myself back there. Yeah, it was a long time. That's that's what I got out of that. It was a really long time. Really long time. Eons, I think. Like like. I know the score to Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream. Yeah, which you won't sing. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but but moving on. Way so, way back. And it's Passover. Ago. But so Not then basically Bible. after that, uh, after the Game of Thrones, which was pretty good, which is uh, if. If you were watching Game of Thrones, let us know how you thought it went. Uh, I watched a little... I saw some Mad Men. Oh, you're, so you're into it now? Because you watched the first season, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm just... I caught it. Actually, I watched the rerun of it later because I was watching Eastbound and Down and Life's Too Short, which I was going to talk about as well. Come on, but, come on. but... So Mad Men, Christina Hendricks, I mean... <laughs> that was my head. Christina, do you know... You must... Mikowski, you must know Christina Hendricks, right? Uh, no, but I can Google her real quick. Redhead has ginormous... Personality in a brain. Below, below her neck. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, that was nice. What? Anyway. Did you have hot dogs? I could taste that one. <laughs> you know, I had, yeah, I had barbecue. Milk. I don't know if this show got funnier or uglier. I mean, just went down. grosser. <laughs> just went down. But you know what? We got we got all of the Jews on Google Plus now watching. You know, we had seven people watching, and now we have four. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that's nice. That's the Mikowski effect. So should I put clothes on? Is that it? I have no idea. But they're tuning out. Whatever we were doing is not working anymore. Lynette Young, Brooke Brown, Omar Modesto, and um, Jordan Oram, and some guy named Tan Sang Nagia. Yeah, can, you, can you actually tell who's watching, or are you just looking at who comments? Uh, I can see who comments, but on the YouTube on the YouTube part, it says X amount watching now, and it says four watching now, and it's hmm. seven. But that's like kind of Google Plus, where there's a ton... Yeah. More. I'm surprised Al Gray isn't watching with her cat. You should tag Al Gray. You guys, I mean, in fact, Mikowski, you should go into the comments and do one of mine and just tag everybody in your list. I'm, I'm tagging all my trolls now. Tag right, them tag all. Tag the trolls. Which we, <coughs> we completely yeah. trolled poor Mike Elgin today. Tell us about that. He, yeah, I Mike saw is that. a friend of Matthew. Well, <coughs> well, right. well, tight. well, what happened was like Mike Elgin thing. posted something about phone booths in New York City. You know, just something, you know, and he says in, in, in you know, in news, you know, New York City still has phone booths because, like, who would ever think New York was still a phone booth to this day? We don't have, we don't have tons of them. They're still. There's not tons. So um, this girl who has like one follower, you know, she's like, you know, and she has a very hot picture of herself up, very like, you know, she's very in your in your fit, like she's leaning into the camera, showing off her, you know, cleavage, and she's like 12. Oh. Um, she 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 posts. I'm discussing this on a hangout right now. I'm like, discussing what? Phone booths in New York City on a hangout? So I so I, I jump in and I say, no, you're not because I am, right? <laughs> and she says, no, I just discussed it with two people. And I write, no, I just discussed it with 1,997 people like Elle Gray and Jane Ellen and Stephen Smith and da 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 da. Well, all Alex. of a sudden, all of a sudden, all my trolls 
come pouring in to poor Mike Elgin's post. I love Mike, by the way. Alex Balcazar, Amy, Amy, Gabriel, Gabriel, uh, Jane, eventually Jane Ellen, who you might know, came in. She's great. Uh, El Grey was every, every, all of a sudden, Mike El I think I, I was, you put me in A, plus me yeah. in I eventually got you, in You jumped, well, you, you at least jumped in, you, I don't know if you commented, but this, the, all the comments after that point are all us trolling, you know, this, this post. And I don't know if you realize this, but that was a post that was on What's Hot. I don't know if you're trolling it on What's Hot, or you actually, you didn't realize that. It, it, it is, is it on What's Hot? Yeah, or, well, it's safe to say that be, whether it's on What's Hot or not, it was when I saw it, but. It's safe to say that, that any post by a certain group any, of people... Anything will by Mike is going to be... Any by Mike by my, a lot of people, yeah, will eventually get on the What's Hot list. So there was, there was like 70 comments on there from, from us trolls. And I don't know, Amy Gabriel ended up naked in a bathtub. That's all, that was the last night. Well, that's always nice. It's always nice when someone ends up naked in the bathtub. In fact, I, there was an email about someone doing something like fapping in a hangout, and they were, they were talking about fapping in a hangout. And when they, tried to, they were trying to report this person fapping in a hangout, they started off by saying, while this happening, my girlfriend was in a hangout with someone saying they were fapping while I was in the bath. So he was, all I got out of the email was this guy was in the bathtub. So he's basically telling, why did he have to tell us he was in the bathtub? Does that make any sense? Do you understand that logic? Maybe he, he wanted you to know he was clean. I'm, look, I'm still wondering why my janitor won't give me a bag liner in my garbage can. Now, can your janitor do, like, uh, quantum physics? or Quantum physics, like, 1.21? We did that last time. Yeah, we did that last time. Oh, I was going more like Google hunting. Like, does your janitor like apples? or? No, my, my janitor, has, I think, has, like, an eighth, eighth grade degree. Oh, that's, that's kind. That's, that's <laughs> nice. Jane is still not wearing any clothes. Hello, Jane. No, and I don't plan to. Uh, I should have with my two mats. You shouldn't. My two mats. So did you ever watch My Two Dads? Do you remember that? Yes, Paul, Greg Evergen and Paul Reiser. Paul's Both. Oh, ah, Matt Mikowski, shut up. Thank you. Both bangable. <laughs> and you know what? This will be I the last time Matt Mikowski appears. But <laughs> the whole time I'm watching it, I'm thinking, why not just get a DNA test? Yeah, well, well, because they, that would have ended the show with one. That wait, I know. Show in one show. Wait, didn't they have something where they were like, they didn't want to do it because that would have been sacrilegious or something? They like, no. didn't care? No, I guess they decided that they, they liked the kids so much they didn't no, want to know who no, they No, you know why they didn't get DNA well, tests? Because they watched the OJ trial. That's why they didn't get DNA tests. The OJ trial that happened in the future. The OJ trial that happened 10 years later, yeah. yeah 10 years later, yeah, yeah. They so they, they, knew, they knew Doc Brown, too. They, they knew. They Here's knew something I've never asked either one of you. Do you know where you were when you heard the OJ verdict? Yeah, I was I in do. school. I was in high school. I was at work. I, I was in the parking lot of... Oh, wait, no more. Don't even finish that sentence. With my mother. Oh, wow. Well, that's that's I was, weird. I actually was on my, my first check ride. To Czechoslovakia? You were in the air. My check ride. Oh, that kind of I'm, check. Not, you I almost crashed check. my plane when now, I was How many people do you, do you when you're riding those planes? Do you say riding them? How many people do you find are trying to join the Mile High Club? How many? It's usually just me and the flight attendant. Oh, okay. Anyone else I'm not, not aware of. All right. So you are already aware of those. You don't have to put a stop to it. And yeah, so does it talking. normal? So most people, when they say my club, they're talking about sex. But with you, you need help wiping your butt. Is that what it is? No, I was... I, 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 I'm asking Mikowski because he has a wife, and there's no way that's really happening. So I'm wondering what it really is. What the code? What the code word? Uh, Mile High Club is. It's wiping. Oh, Mikowski's got a floater. Better get in there. It's, okay, and, and you're saying that we're driving people away? Nobody says floater except Suzanne Summers regarding. First of all, wait a minute. Whoa, like whoa, whoa. Well, Let's back up. Back it up a second. There are no floaters. Have you ever been in a in a toilet in an airplane? <laughs> I've never. I, I live in New York. What is that? No. You don't get floaters in a toilet in an airplane. What you get is splat. <laughs> That was my nickname in high school. You what? get splat. That's what you get. There's no floaters. There's no water. It's a tin can. You're shitting in a tin can. Oh, God. Is this not a David Bowie song? All right. No, no, no don't sing it. Don't sing it. Don't sing it. All right, good. Continue. Okay, what, right. Is it, what, what is the deal with it? Explain that to us. Because cause you, can, you can record yourself on YouTube singing beautifully, as you do, Matthew. You just can't do it live. That's Why not? I, mean, I just want to know that. I don't know the... I don't know either. I, endorses Pepsi I do not. I endorse, I endorse nothing. I don't even endorse your smile. 
I, I just I don't I know. I endorse you using Rogaine now. That's endorse nice. his lips. All right. You endorse oh my, my lips. God. Who has the who has? Who has the best lips? <laughs> who has the best lips? Who's the best pilot? Who's the best lips? Uh, is that mine? What is with Jesus again? No more, no more pilot Pilates or whatever. What do you call them? Mine, mine or Makowski's. Who's is better? Wait, I thought it was all three of us. Wait, let them judge. <laughs> all right. I wish I could. Wait, let's screenshot that. Wait, can someone screenshot? Can we get three Still. people to vote? No, you're gonna have to, cause my hands are busy. All right, let's do the smile now. Ready? Smile. <laughs> Hey, let me get another. Wait, let me get someone else's as a close-up smile. All right, let's do the lip thing again. Jane Ellen's will be because that's what they want to see. Jane Ellen, right? All right, everyone watching is like, what? This could be the lip. Oh, we're up to six. We went all the way from four to six. How did we do it? Comb in the hair. Kooky, kooky. Lend me your comb. Kooky, kooky. So, Idol. Did you watch Idol's? Yes, I did. I, but I can't see McCaskey's lips, and he's doing that Ed Burns, Connie Stevens song. Could I've be. actually been in Ed Burns' presence. You've been, so you know who Ed Burns is? Yeah, he directed me in something. Really? Yep. And he cut it from this movie, that bastard. That was on the cutting room floor. That was some nice brushing you did. I didn't know you speak Russian. Mm-hmm. Weird. It was nice. It looks like the, the razor you use might um, might be smooth. Might be a number one smooth glide. I started using ladies' razors. Okay. Because I you like the color? Because I ran out of my own. He oh, likes well. the feel. I do like the feel. He it feels it up. I only like using it after my wife used it. Uh huh. Ah. Tell us. Don't tell us more. Uh, Nathan Stoops was uh, me and you and Nathan Stoops yesterday. Did I'm calling it kicking and plusing? We were kicking and plusing together. We were. And, and uh, taking names. And taking names. And then he is. He's been on American Idol this season, aren't Yeah, he's been on this season and last season. He fiddles and, around. And we're doing the video in like two weeks. Release so date is May 21st for the song. What was Nathan Stoops really? Where Where does Nathan Stoops sleep when when he's at your house? What? I guess it's a <laughs> valid question, isn't it? It is a valid question. Anyway, would you, I see you fed him. You made him sick. And did you guys watch old American Idols together, or? N uh, no, but I am his publicist and his stylist. Okay, you're an. I do stuff for him. You know, professional stuff. I was the first one to put a uh, guy liner on him, and actually, the photos of that uh, do look like we're making a porno because. Um, in order to put eyeliner on someone who's in the middle of a shoot, and he was sitting down, I had to sit on top of him, and then we just, whoa, we kind of just uh, lost it from there. Yeah. Hey now. So the photos hey. you cannot see the the dark oh, gray we. pencil in my hey, hand. Hey we. All right, never mind. Yeah, you can't. So TV shows, Idol. Uh, he'll be back on to play with Skylar, and she's the feisty little one who who is clearly the country leader and clearly. clearly so he's he's made many friends there on the idol set and comes back actually there you're not allowed to have your phone out on set so or you'll get in trouble pictures, right? that's why he I mean he'll take some but everyone phones will be you will be tossed off the set if you whip out your phone and start taking pictures and you're a member of the crew or a contestant and things like that so that I learned because the very first time he went there, I said, "Okay, I want pictures of this, this, this," and then he said, "Oh, we're not getting those." <laughs> now after the show, he can take pictures. Can you put the camera down a little bit, Jane? Just a little it's bit. It's showing too much of your face. You need to put it put it down a little bit further. Okay. I'll go the rest of the way later. Okay. Should I stand up suddenly? Oh. Okay. And our viewers just dropped. Thanks. We're from six <laughs> to five. Thank you so much for that, Mikowski. Can she talk? I'm I'm guilty too though. Guilty. That's a song from Barbara Streisand. Guilty. 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 We put our heads guilty, yeah. close to the camera. You know that scene in Superman the movie when they're going guilty, guilty. Let me out. Yeah. Oh that's the Panther God. Zone. That's so American Idol was uh was not there. So American Idol, they uh they got rid of um high singing guy. That clock sucks. 
Uh, yeah, I forgot that I've been meaning to. My sister gave me that, and I've been meaning to. You need to wait. If you're, if you're gonna, oh, debattery. I think you take a hammer to it. If you take a hammer to it, can we do that live. Oh sure, it's a pretty clock. It's just that I forgot to debattery it. If you say that really fast, it sounds like something else. Speaking of butt pirates, hello, Matt. What is with you and butt pirates? Are we no. allowed to say butt pirate? Uh, too late. So, for instance, you can say butt pirate, but you can't sing more than two seconds of a song. You really shouldn't yes. sing two seconds. Okay. I'm just kidding. Parody, yeah. <laughs> if it's really bad, then you shouldn't sing at all. We'll all win. You know what's great about this place is that I can mute Matt Mikowski. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Matt Mikowski doesn't even know he's <laughs> muted, and if he does, he doesn't care. You know, the two of you should do a duet together. We'll, we'll work on that. Jane Jane? Ellen. Hey, Jane Allen, what's your middle name? I don't have one. I'm like Cher. She's got one name. I've just got Jane Ellen. So you weren't like Jane Santa Maria Ellen or something like that? No. Nope. You know, Vera Ellen. You remember Vera Ellen from White Christmas? Jane Ellen. Same thing. I know Ellen DeGeneres. And, uh, uh, actually, I have a... Well, it's not that funny. Tell, tell, me it, this. tell it like it's... Tell me this. Tell it like it's funny. When... I only... Well... Make it funny. When Fox, when Fox <laughs> started... When Fox started, they... Doing that is their funny. Own programming. That's hysterical. They had a show where Ellen DeGeneres... I think it was called Open House. Ellen DeGeneres was the receptionist. And she had a very minor role, but it, it was the only funny thing about it. It was something about a real estate office, and she was the receptionist. And I only... Uh, she was great. At the time, I was also a receptionist. And I was a very bitter receptionist. Bitter because, herbs. Uh, yes, because I took the bitter herbs, and I just got irritated with everyone. And if you were to call and mispronounce someone's name, I would say, I'm sorry, who is that? No, they don't work here. You know, I, and if you didn't pick up in like 10 seconds, I would start paging you all over the building. I, I was horrifically funny. Anyway, when the show came on, I became aware of it because my friends would say, Hey, there, there's this girl who's doing you, oddly enough, Ellen, who's doing you on TV. Because, of course, my friends would call and they would see me in action doing this, being a, just a terrible receptionist. I was bitter because I think the CEO and I were the only ones with degrees, and I was like, oh, this is so irritating. So, yeah. Uh, so, Ellen DeGeneres was, if you watch Open House, my recollection is every, every nasty thing she said, I was already saying in real life. And that's my connection to Ellen. That and the name. And we both think Portia de Rossi's. Uh, um, yeah, I agree with that one. That was the best thing you said. That last thing you said. That was great. Tell yeah, that again. She's hot. Portia de Rossi. De Rossi she's de one Rossi. of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Other than uh, when I just stare at myself or Lynette Young. So on Mad Men, Christina Hendricks' breasts not only were big, but she got rid of her husband who was cheating on her, I think. And Don Draper was uh, doesn't want to cheat anymore. He's having nightmares about killing all the women that he sleeps with, even though he enjoys his sex a lot. So what do you think? you think Don Draper can ever not cheat, never not cheat on his wife? Well, um, do they get along? Or would you, just, would you just, sleep just like to sample? John Hamm, I mean, I, is he is overrated or, the, or ridiculously gorgeous? He's not even on my radar. No, he, what he, about Mikowski? First of all, his name is not Ma Matthew, so he's not on my no, radar. I just I have mean, YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm like the guy right now on Jeopardy who hasn't answered a question in 30 minutes. Oh, what about Matthew? What I'm Matthew? Sorry. Matthew Perry or Matt LeBlanc? Either of those guys? No. For, for me, or well, for speaking for wi all of women? Really, you're speaking for all of women? Have I ever what, put that kind of pressure what, what, on you before? What do you want me to answer? <laughs> now, right, okay, heard. in but their yeah. characters, in their characters on the show Friends, I would go for Matthew Perry because he was the sarcastic one. <laughs> He was sarcastic on, on the show. But I, mean, I don't know what you mean. Could you be any more sarcastic? I, mean, I don't talk like that. But uh, that's... How you doing? He hasn't called oh. me lately, so I don't, I don't know, really. Um, I mean, they, they're all kind of attractive, but none of them really did anything for me. Hmm. <coughs> hey, Matt Mikowski, what was the last movie you saw on a plane? Ooh. Are you allowed to watch movies during your work? Well, not when I actually fly, especially not during landing. I mean, but but when I when I fly as a passenger, yeah, that's when I flew to the UK. The, the thing is, I watch so when I fly to the UK, I watched so many movies that I can't even remember. I, I saw the last was, time. 
You know, the last big movie I saw on the plane was the uh, the movie about the king, the stuttering king. Oh, uh, oh yeah. King's Speech. King's Speech. The, the King's Speech, which was fantastic and brilliant, especially coming home from the UK for my 18th time and and getting a little bit of history about that godforsaken country. Aww. So did well, you watch the... Wait, so you watched it... What? You watch they what? edit do they edit stuff down or they show you the R rating? No, no, no. It's the whole I mean as far as it's it's they say it's edited for for But did he format, say the F word? Because there was a big controversy about the F word being cut out and <laughs> he said <laughs> He did that. Yeah, did he do that? Yeah, yeah. Now now the funniest thing is is that it was rated R only because of that moment. Is that the most ridiculous thing I you've actually, ever heard? Yeah, I, I swear to you, I don't even remember that moment. It's possible they cut it out for the airplane. <laughs> you don't remember, you just did it. Well, I, I was doing what I think he would do. Yeah, um, exactly. But I don't you know actually what? know that he did it. Not just that movie, but I will watch a movie or a TV show, and then a day or so later, someone will say, well, what did you think about you know the language there and that? It's like, oh, I didn't even hear any of that. Wait, is that what happened in Tennessee? They talk about the cursing? That was a big deal? I have friends that don't live in Tennessee. Fine, my bad. They're your friends. Jeez. <laughs> what a bad guess. But Tell no, what, he did, what he would have won had he guessed correctly. A Mikowski doll. No. Oh. oh, I've got one of those. They're awesome. Um, they, they're, they inflate quickly, and they clean up the house. So they're really great. I think we need a second show. I think, like, plus team and show, this, this needs to be, like, just, like, anything goes, because I feel like there's, we're doing two shows here in one. It's hard. That's what she said twice. See, now, you're the one. You're the one. No, 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 because I bring up the TV show, and I'm the only one talking about the TV show. I'm trying to help you with your TV show. I, I did my idol. This isn't like tutoring. It's not a tutoring show. I did show. my Dancing with the Stars. I don't I, help. I'm, I'm just the guy in Jeopardy. <laughs> that hasn't answered a question in 30 minutes and feels like a complete... Food says start with the letter Q. <laughs> what is a Cuisinart? It's always embarrassing when they have to ask the guy to test his buzzer to see if it works. He's like, yeah, I just, I just don't know any one single answer of anything. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here, Alex. I don't know how I got on the show. I should be like on Wheel of Fortune. I think I'm capable of spinning and guessing a vowel. Speaking of Jeopardy and t getting bring it back to TV, do you remember the episode of Seinfeld when George memorizes all the answers? Is that mm -hmm. Seinfeld when he does that? No, Some I don't show. George on, I think, I no, don't he think. was never on Jeopardy. He memorized all the answers and then he watched the rerun with someone. Oh, and he knew yeah. All the answers, oh, yeah. And they thought he was. Yeah, that is a very Costanza thing to do. I don't doubt it. I yeah. don't doubt it at all. Exactly. Seinfeld. Uh, hey, people who do not know Seinfeld references, I'll be honest, I judge you, and part of me thinks you're not funny, and you have to do a lot to make up. So are you saying that your husband is a big Seinfeld referencer? Uh, he does get a lot of pop culture. Okay. That's what I heard about him. Yeah. More so than Ed. What? Who said that? Who? No, you were accurate on that. Um, great. Mikowski, you want to you wanna talk about your wife and her skills? Um, no. <laughs> you know what? Our, no spouses, our spouses are like um, what, uh -oh. Norm's wife on Cheers. It's like a hickey from Kaniki. Never existed. <laughs> so we, we, just, we just have the jewelry and we talk about them and we make, but well, they have backstories. But that's... That makes everything more interesting. You know, Lynette Young actually says she doesn't never watch TV, but she watches Game of Thrones, which is what I was gonna talk about. Sorry, well, let's we're not stopping you. No, it's fine, but I feel silly. No, nothing. I mean, no, Game of Thrones was great last no, night. You can talk about it. I mean, Mikowski and I are in the same room, but you, you you're can, not. No, Game of Thrones we'll, was great we'll, last we'll, night. We'll both be the we'll both be the contestant on Jeopardy who can't answer shit. That's good. And you can and you can talk I mean, about Game and of I, I can be Alex Trebek. I mean, I met Sean Bean. That was wait, really all oh I got wait, there. Oh, wait. You already did that story. Don't I know, but that's all I have to talk right, about. Let me get the Alex Trebek mustache. Can we talk about the Wonder Twins? The Four of us. Bucket of ice. Oh, my God. What, did wow. the, what, what could the Wonder Twins possibly do? Shape of a giant... Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so on Game of Thrones last night, uh, oh, Peter Dinklage uh, got rid of the... Uh, oh, spoiler alert. Got rid of the... Uh, didn't you already say this? Yeah, probably. No, I didn't really talk about it. I just quoted... See, you don't even pay attention to what I say. But you did. You did this. You did Mad Men. I tried to talk about... I didn't about even really do it. I said, like, one line. That's well, that was enough. It's over with. It's done. It's done. Move on to another show. Done. Well, Eastbound and Down, Kenny Powers got to pitch again and gave up his son. Uh, back to the his. Is, uh, is, is Eastbound and Down on a major network? It's on HBO. It's not, it's not, HBO. not major to you. I'm just, just curious. Is HBO just started this year. 
Yeah, you never heard of HBO? It's not even TV. Why am I covering it? It's, it's HBO. That's weird. Anyway. Life Seed Short, Warwick Davis, you know Willow? No? Yes, I remember Willow. It's not that funny. Yeah, I feel bad. It should have been funnier, but uh, Ricky Gervais and was ready. Ooh, Willow, Willow, did you know Blossom is Jewish? Yes, I did. Mia, Maya Bialik. And she's also on Big Bang Theory, which is, is. And which is a theory you have nonstop during the day on your planes, right? She visited Shul, my Shul. And, oh, yeah? and spoke on uh, the woman. Women had a nightmare. And she spoke. <laughs> now, how did Blossom look at your shoe? I, I didn't see her. My my wife saw her. My wife was she cool her. at your shoe? She she was. I don't know. I wasn't <laughs> Why can't you just make up? Shit? A member of Three Dog Night visited my school and said, "Don't do drugs." Uh oh. And then he played the piano, and I had to tell everyone, <laughs> Three Dog Night, the, one of the best bands ever, and they're like, "What? Who? What? Where?" Where oh. when Eli's I, coming? But why are Elijah? Not, what? They don't. They Dianu. Don't know. Hey, we can sing Dianu. That shit ain't copyrighted. Oh, look at that. Would you sing it? Dianu. No, 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 no! no. Don't Dianu. sing it. No, stop it. Quiet. Come on, Jesus. Lynette Young took a picture of our lips, and, and yes, I muted Mal Mikowski. Wouldn't you? Jesus is copyrighted, but oh, Dianu no. is not. Jesus is, is is just an is a name. Oh, I can't. Everything I say sounds offensive. Mikowski. Uh, Lynette Young took a great picture of us. I'm not defensive. I, I can defensive. picture it. I'm not defensive. I'm defensive. I, I knew. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, there it is. Did it screen share correctly? Probably not. Yes, that's beautiful. It's beautiful, oh, yes. That is nice. And now I'm frozen. So, um, Mikowski, tell us about the time that you had a hurl with Lynette Young, because that is an interesting story. That never happened. The whole bookstore coffee shop thing. I like that one a lot. Great. <laughs> Great. I froze the hangout. I actually promised her I would never reveal the actual true events that happened that day. Okay. <clears throat> well, I I'm glad that I got to hear it from the both of you. It's a really funny story. So <laughs> much. Maybe you'll remind me what the hell it is. On a, before the next show so I can tell it properly. <laughs> you know what you haven't done yet, Rappaport? You know what's going to happen is that I'm going to have to leave the hangout and come back. Why does it sound like Rappaport is... Don't say it. ...scraping his worms out? It's my dog. Oh. You have not done a Ryan Van Sickle imitation. I have it because I have to go and come back because, because of my Because the hangouts are, with extras are broken. It's like hangouts with herpes. <laughs> I'm not in a hangout with what did you do? I'm frozen! No, uh, Jane Ellen knows the answer to this. You're supposed to double click on something. That's with YouTube. Oh my god. I have to I have to start my task manager. Don't you let me have to do that? Oh, uh, I hate uh, having to start the task manager. Dianu, while this is happening? That's I really hope you don't. Dianu, die, Dianu. Is, Matt um, Mikowski, you're fired. There was, there was fired. some song, uh, Bringing in the Sheep. I always thought it was Bringing in the Sheep. And then I found out it was sheaves, and I said to my sisters, what's that? Bringing the sheep sounded right. more realistic to me. Have I... What? What happened? I think it's just you and me now, babe. Let's do our thing. What do you want to talk about? It's just us. He's I gone. I think he's still there. No, I can't hear him. But then we... <clears throat> then I don't, I don't you want to eat I, something? I could tell my... I could tell the story about... Um, I could tell this, some some airplane stories, I guess. About Would you? Um, You've got some great. I want to hear the UFO story. Well, there's, there's not much to the UFO story. It's just it was just a ball of light hurling towards my aircraft.
All right, we're back on air. Sorry about that. That was Chrome going crazy. Did okay. you see it go from off air to on air? You, like you had the nerve to launch a Google app. What are you thinking? Yeah, I had nothing the nerve that this company makes is works. That's no, no one's launching. Nothing Google app. this company makes is works. What? What? Really? Nothing. Had is we told the best story while you were gone. It was, the, it was the best. And, and you only told each other, which is what sucks. Maybe it'll be on the recording. There's a chance. Small, slight. There is a slight chance. So anyway, um, the cast is going to tell you about his UFO experience. Well, it was just, it was, I mean, the UFO in the sense that we cost our company uh, a few thousand dollars. We had, we had a, we had a bright light coming. And you were handle probes. We, no, we, this is real. There was a bright light. We had a bright light coming towards our aircraft from the nose. And we started the contact air traffic control. We were asked. We were asking for vectors. You know what a vector is? The vector, vector. Ve ve what's your vector vector? You might remember that from air, air, uh, airplane. So we were making several vectors to see if the light would keep following us. And you know the light, of course, kept following us. And after about ten turns, we realized it was a reflection of our cockpit lights and our windshield. So we spent about ten thousand dollars in fuel on a few extra turns, and we had you know we had some issues with corporate after that. So you're saying it wasn't actually a UFO, it was just a stupid... Well, it was unidentified for a while. It was, it was an unidentified flying light bulb. Nice. Lovely. So, that, story I, is so, and that story is so great, my underwear feels dry. Thanks. That, that, that story gave you diabetes. Oh my God, please don't <laughs> say that. Okay, best Family Guy uh, episode? Oh, why don't we talk Family Guy? A show you actually sort of said you watch. Yes. Uh, oh, still me, yeah. something, something dark side, still. That's, but that's not an episode that's uh, special. I know, but just s when they first said something, something dark side, it's like, why didn't I notice that before? Something, uh, something dark Jane, side, uh, something. It's really good to be here with, uh, with Jane and Matt Mikowski and, and, Ma and Matthew Rapport. I want to see a song. All right, oh, I can't, yeah, I feel bad. That's, that was my... Yeah. It's so bad, it. though. It is bad. I never said it was good. You said it was good. Was it good one at one point? Neil Diamond. A bit. Well, Neil Di Well, I'm a Jew. I mean, I'm going to sound like poor. I'm pretty freaking Sweet poor. Sweet Carol. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wait, so let me get this straight. You're hired to check an airplane that has rules and regulations, yet you can't control yourself on a little tiny, little tiny internet show. You know, that's, that's, that's why chicks dig him, because he doesn't wear underwear. <laughs> what he does, it's something, <laughs> it's something unusual. And by chicks, he means his wife. That's about it. <laughs> Don't back up too much, Jane Allen. We're only rated R for Rock I love my wife. My wife? Oh, Borat. Did you like that movie, Mikowski? My wife, back in uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Khan. Or, my wife. Uh, yeah, that's the name of the country. Pack -a -party, pack -a -party. So what was your favorite? Was your favorite Family Guy was what? Oh yeah. my you. <sighs> my fa my favorite Family Guy of all time. Well, my favorite character is Brian the dog. It can't. What about Mort the Jew? I do love Mort the Jew. But, Mort? but I also have. Well, John Stewart, he's our most important Jew. One of my is he favorite. Your most high profile Jew in animation. Sure. More? One, no. one of Why, my favorites that? was when they went in when they Stewie invented that machine that teleported them Time from machine, alternate yeah. universe to alternate oh, universe, and they ended up in a in a in a Nazi a Jew Nazi hating <laughs> universe. Lovely. This that is the, this is the Passover episode. I'm gonna have to retitle it. Passover episode of Family Guy. <laughs> Al Grace said Family Guy sucks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Al Grey is not on the Family Guy bandwagon. Oh, Al oh, Grey does not. Uh, El, I drop like El Grey does not play. Well, I mean, uh, Family Guy touches me deep inside. Not there, though. Deep inside of you. Do, do. What, what's that song from Third Eye Blind? I don't know. Third Eye Blind. I don't know, but we're going to see something deep inside of you, and it won't be pleasant. Well. I mean, seriously, did you not realize what Third Eye Blind was named for? L? I think you know what it is. Third yeah. Eye. Come on. Yeah, right. I had no, no idea. Did. She's trying to say it was a Thapaport production. The third eye, the third eye was a Schmenus. Uh, yes. Schmenus. Does it rhyme with Schmenus? Yeah, it does rhyme with Schmenus. Mobile. Oh, yeah. I, did yeah. I, I did not. I did not. Third eye. Step up from that ledge, my you've got, friend. You got ah. Now we can't even end the episode, you schmuck. Okay. All right. 
That's the end of that. I don't know. I hate you. <laughs> Matt Mikowski, you're married. You might, you may or may not have the ability to have kids and have make kids. more money than I do. And he I has kids. kids. Um, oh I'm raising God, them. I feel bad. I have two kids. They never yeah. see me. I don't know their names. They never see me, and I don't know their names. That's a hell of a way to kill a discovery kid's name. I'm not sure how. So old you're they saying are. they never see me, Mikowski, and I don't know their names, Mikowski. You've never seen one of those kids. Uh, much like George Foreman, he named all his children George. You mean Matt? Yes. Yeah. All of them. I named them all Jerry. <laughs> you have to see the baby. The baby. Oh God, the sh I hate the Drake. The Drake. The Drake. I love the, the Drake. Drake. You gotta love the Drake. No, I, I don't the love Drake. the Drake. To me, to me, it sounds like when they were I, when Larry and Jerry read an episode, they were eating Drake cake the whole time. Like, I love the Drake. I hate that they must have been eating cake. When I was pregnant with one of Mikowski's children, uh, oh. I craved the Drake cake, and they do not sell it around here. Oh, and wow. so my mother had to ship it to me. Just for the, the official archives, because this will be on YouTube for all the time. Oh, that's right. No, I didn't they, actually have his children. Jane Allen never actually was pregnant with the Mikowski child. Exactly. It was, it was just a joke. Archives. For the future yes. generations, for my great, 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 great grandkids, we're going to see this one day. Exactly. Family guy who wants Shatter, one of his jokes. But yeah, I love Drake cake, and I would, I, when it struck me that I had to have the crumbly topping, one of my coworkers knew what it was, Cinnamon. because he'd lived all around the United States, and no one else in Tennessee was like, Drake cake, what, what, what? You know what? You know what the moral of that story is? Don't live in Tennessee. You, Peter McDermott, move out! Eileen McAllister, get out of there! <laughs> Maybe the dingo ate your baby. Oh, Maybe the, the dingo, dingo ate your baby. Anything. That's what Cynthia, or as I like to call her, Cindy. She's so hot. I call her Cindy because it reminds me of Cindy from the Brady Bunch. And I, was always, I was always turned on by Cindy from the Brady Bunch. but um, That explains a lot. Maybe the dingo ate your baby is what Cindy Parrott says. She's fantastic. Anyway. Matt Mikowski, you're center, you're center square right now. Okay, Paul Lind, go for it. Go for it. So, so what did, how did Hollywood Squares work? They would say uh, true or false. Matt Mikowski, true or false, and then you'd have to... I agree I'd give an answer. Uh, I would cover it up with a joke, and then the person would have to guess if I'm an idiot or not. Right. That's probably an easy thing to do. It's, it's, yeah. So, so you want to play Hollywood Squares right now? Not okay. really. No, oh, Jane Ellis is the one with the trivial pursuit stuff. Oh, she's well, got Lord of the Rings. Oh, I have lots of it. Don't oh, I would. I that's. I've never seen that shit in my life. You've never. You've seen a lot of shit in your life. Just never. But not no, Lord of the Rings. He doesn't see. I the would not watch Lord of the Rings. If <coughs> is that is Star Wars shit too? I've seen um, some of them are. Yeah, the first. Uh, well, the first obviously, two, I'm talking about the originals. The first two are good. I mean, the, the four episodes four and five. Excuse me, not the first two. So I wouldn't want to get anybody upset. Is that your nerd like, impression? It's really the first good. two is like Jar Jar Binks, man. No, not that's like if, that's like if a nerd was really a dude that surfed. <laughs> Yeah, there. That's exactly what it is. Yes. You know, what, uh, Mikowski and I are going to go to Comic Con together and just uh, San Diego or New York or where? Yeah, all of them, and we're just going to be oh, among the fun. nerds at Comic Con. Well, you're not wearing any clothes. You'll be fine, Jane Ellen. <laughs> I'm hoping to pick up a virgin. And throw them or what? No, I just pick them up. At Comic Con. You're not going to let them down. Just pick them up. Yep, pretty much. That's what Mikowski's there for to get their feet. Are you, gonna, are you doing the panel with him? This is like the bench of the nerds. You guys are gonna like toss, toss the nerds. Um, one day I'm gonna go as the the green chick from the original Star Trek, and because I have I do airbrush makeup, so I can oh. airbrush myself. I remember when Captain Kirk went to Mars and fucked that green bitch. Yeah, I remember that. I'm pretty sure you can't say three of those words on TV. <laughs> George Carlin is in the hizzy. We're not on TV. We're on the interwebs. Remember? That's right. So you can say fuck that green bitch all you want. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> but you can't, you can't sing anything. But you can't say, I wish you would stay. Well, you're really not going to say any of it. Ah, really. <laughs> Mikowski, seriously, I hate you. <laughs> Why do you make my life so difficult? Do you ever want to do this again? Because if you ever want to do this again, we won't be able to do it again. Anyway. I thought all the Jews got along. What's wrong with you two? The Jews get along when they and understand the rules. There are certain out. rules. There are rules of surviving a hangout on air, and you suck. I don't think you understand, Matthew, that Matt, he's got major swagger. 
And he makes the rules. I ain't got no swagger. You're talking about me with the swagger. So, uh, Rappaport has... I will abide by Rappaport's rules. I just don't know what the fuck they are. <laughs> I told you! There was one rule you had to follow. You broke it at like 55 times. Which I, rule is it? Is it the rule that the you rule, can't... That's the rule where you're supposed to wear a bag on your head the whole time so no one can see your face. I no. can't even sing Dianu. Oh, whatever. I don't want you to sing. That's for another show. Is the Bible copywritten now? What is it? Actually, I think, I think some of them are. I have no idea. I keep clicking on your face. Uh, I don't know why. Do Most people do. Do a Christopher Walken imitation. Christopher Walken. Now I got to. I got to get him in my. I got to get him in my head to do him. No, that's John Malkovich. It's my head. It's Malkovich. 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 Um, who are your favorite people to impersonate, Monsieur Rappaport? Just Matt Mikowski and Ryan Van Sickle. Oh, okay. My favorite person to impersonate is Zontar. <laughs> potato, potato. He's Zontar one of my favorites. Copy written that I'm aware of. Everybody yeah. loves Matt Mikowski. They're taking the clothes off. I uh, mean, that's. I mean, I started with Adam, but I usually do. Yeah, you finish with Adam too. I Let's see. I got a. I got a. I love you, Matt Mikowski from Cynthia Parrot. Mm. Yeah. She loves you a bushel of peck and a hair around the neck. I want to so badly fly her to Buffalo. To do what? To eat her. Hair. To eat her breast. I mean, breast wings with her. Wing uh, breast. You can. You can say that. You can say eat her breasts. You can say that, but you cannot <laughs> sing. We cannot music. sing. We cannot. I think it's been established. When I say eat her breasts, I mean not about the way up. It just it doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense. And I don't make enough sense. Give me some sense, thanks. And some gre green bills from Delta. So, let me get this straight. You're both doctor lawyers, doctor yeah. lawyer actors. Yeah, it's all of the above. Producer, you're doctor lawyer producers? We have a lot of letters after our names, if you know what I'm saying. All right, as long as I got that straight. Now, Who wants Chowder? I don't know. <laughs> I have no more shows to talk about. I'm done talking about TV, movies. Oh, you're done. I don't even know. Where do we yeah. go from here? I mean, the show's been riveting. Has, been, know, has this been our know, best show um, ever, Matt Mikowski? Would I you know, watch the show? I know Zontar wants to make an appearance. Zontar. Now, does Zontar have anything to do with Zoltar? No, yeah, completely different. Zoltar from, ba from, wait, Zoltar from Battlestar Galactica? Or from Big. Oh, that Zoltar the machine. Who's the guy in Battlestar? Oh, that guy. A Balca... Ba ba Balthazar! Alex Balthazar! Alex Balthazar! Alex Balthazar was the guy in... He was the one with the What is that? What? Does Mikowski know I muted him? He's so excited. He's freaking out! I'm just kidding. Our chat room says, you muted Matt Mikowski, you muted Matt Mikowski, you muted Matt Mikowski. I know, that's awful. I know it is. That's all right. People people enjoy it when I do that. If you don't, let me know. Yeah, I mean... I mean, it's like the gong show in here. I really love my two mats. It's Zontar, not Zontar. Uh-oh. Is she making fun of me? Cindy Brady, what? Yeah, I don't get the Cindy Brady thing. Did Matt McCowsey get upset or he had to pee? He had to pinch a loaf? I don't know. Did you look upset? pinch a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold in here. Zontar. I think it's a shower credit. No, I don't remember it looking like that. Yeah, yeah. You flew into Buffalo today? <laughs> yeah, I'm in Buffalo right now. We're just um we're just pretending to be in different states. It costs twenty five thousand of your US dollars to travel. Are you um, are you by chance trying to do Obi Wan Kenobi? No, he's being Zontar. I'm Zontar. And right now El Grey just slit her wrist. <laughs> That's bad. I, that would be I bad have if that happened. Zontar with. That is unfortunate. El Grey, I hope you make it out of that one. Yeah. First, before the debacle is over with, does anyone have something that maybe the Mikowski needs to answer? or Good questions for the Mikowski while this is his last hangout and his last and final hangout because he's broken all the copyright rules. You know what? Once. After watching this, I'll bet you Lynette's going, i got to get some of that Mikowski in my HOA. <laughs> I, don't, you know, I think it's Rappaport that people want. <clears throat> They want, they want you, they just I don't got, know. You know. When I used to just watch the show, I used to watch when Matt would turn his face directly into the camera and I would stare into his eyes. It's, it's love, man. It's complete love. It's, it's, 
Jews on Jew action. And they call me puppy Jews. Chewy, Chewy, it's more fun to make Chewy. Rap a love. Rap a love. No, McKelsey, you're great. I just, it's got to, there's got to be a little bit of give and take, you know? The Daily News. I, you know. The New York Times. Like I would like it a whole lot more if the two of you would kind of vie for my attention, but it's like I'm not even here. Oh my God, look, she's half naked. All right. Wait, she's married. All right. Look, she's got blonde hair. All right. Oh, look, she's half naked again. That's not how you get girls. Uh, I didn't know that was this show. Was that the show? I'm that just offering Leo advice. Form? That's not how you get girls. I don't need advice in that area. I, I'm just if telling any, you. For, for, for those who are watching. Oh, yeah. That wasn't me telling you that you should get girls by telling by doing that. See, that that's the look right there. That's the look that Rappaport's giving the camera right yeah. there. Right there. I, I just fell in love given. all over again. Yeah. I yeah. just fell in love all over again. Jane's on the camera now. No, no. Bring me no. back Rappaport. Yeah. Bring me back. Come on, give me the look. Give me the look. I was giving it to you, baby. Oh, yeah. That's hey. nice. Hey, Wobbly H. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> wobbly H. Hey, I think you need to take your Rappaport, potato. Rappaport, put your hands in the air like this, buddy. Wait a no, minute. No, I'm, I'm doing something. I'm busy. How do we get Jane in the center of the pictures? Well, you know, I tried, but he said it's... um. Now, the only way that could happen is if she changes her name to be, like, Marsha. Or, no, she would have to change her name to be, like, Matina. In between, some, she'd have to be, like, Matt. I could, what if I, I could change before, my name to... Or Matt Mikowski could change his name to, like, Abraham. And then oh, this, is, oh, this is in alphabetical order? <laughs> yes. That, that's how ridiculous this thing is, that it's alphabetical. Because well, we'll put the hands up anyway, we'll do the wobbly name. Ridiculous. We're doing the wobbly H right now. We're doing the um, wave. If we clasp our hands like that, then it becomes the Eiffel Tower. Tiger. And that's that's a little too gay for me. <sighs> I didn't think there was such a thing. For you. you never heard of the white wobbly H? No, but is the gay something too gay for you? Well, the Eiffel Tower. Uh. Wow. Wow. We lost a hundred people. <laughs> Actually, so we just gained some. We just that gained was copyrighted. That was a copy. <laughs> I love you, Matt Mikowski. I love Not you, Matthew me. Rappaport. Yeah, it is me. Yeah, I, I could watch the two of you in Jello all night. Why Jello? Why can't we? Can't I, we love Alex I, I love Alex Balcazar. I love Alex Balcazar. Alex, Alex Balcazar. He's he's swarthy and hot. He's bangable. He's a sexy man. Yeah, he is. Sexy. Is he with us now, Alex? I don't think he's. I I I think I tried to ping him, tag him in, whatever, but um. I don't think he came. At least he came to, to the hangout. I see. I did try to. Am I on mute again? No, no I uh, my, may or may not have invited one Lynette Young to the hangout. I don't oh, know that would be know. grand oh. if Lynette would join us. Hey, hey, Lynette hey. Might, may or may not join us because oh. she has something better to do. What? Who said that? I have to brush my hair if Lynette's coming in. Oh, cookie. Oh, you speak Russian. Don't take the cookie. Don't take the cookie. Matt, don't look to the cookie. cookie. You know what taking the cookie means? I don't even want to talk about it. But it, it does involve vagina. No, it does not involve vagina. All right. Well, that's why I call. Anyway, I'll stop myself there. Oh, you'll wait a minute. You'll stop yourself there. <laughs> because well, I was always going to insult somebody. Somebody. And then I realized that was mean. It was funny. Because I didn't mean it. it would have been I don't know if the audience. audience. I don't know if Cynthia Perot. It's very important that she knows what takes the cookie. What take the cookie means, so she doesn't take my cookie too soon. Yeah, no, Cynthia. Takes your when cookie. you're with Mikowski, you can't take the cookie. You don't want so, to take the, take the cookie. Don't take the cookie too Otherwise, soon. Otherwise, good time stops. Oh my God. If you take the cookie too soon, there'll be no more cookies. There's no more cookies. <laughs> it's a box <laughs> with one cookie in it. I think Lynette went to sleep. <laughs> Once you take the cookie. Now, um, is it a Pepperidge Farm cookie? Now, we're in overtime right now, just, just for cookies. the comedy stylings of Mikowski and Jane Allen and myself. And the super cookies, oh like you get the cookie I imagine, store? Wait a minute. I imagine it's more like, I don't want to say O-R-E-O because I don't want to get sued. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's an N-A-B-I-S-C-O type of, I, I'll say it's like a Hydrox. It's, okay, well, you know, the... Because that oh, ain't a brand. Because that ain't a brand. That's like, you know, I, my Uncle Morty makes Hydrox. You know, I, you have, wait, 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 wait. You have an Uncle Morty too? Morty, has Morty like Finkelstein from Morty Science. And and nobody has a Morty. And, J and he makes everything. He him and his sons together for the forever. You know the O R E O originates in Jersey, much like the Mikowski. Are we allowed to say New Jersey? 
No, it's copyrighted. Uh, no, that's a Bon Jovi album, so probably not. <laughs> Gotta watch out. So if there are no questions from the Mikowski from the people, but they already know. The que- there's no questions, the statements. They're like, yes, hi, you, love, and... Uh, I mean, they're like, love... Hey, um, Mikowski, take your shirt off. Um, I think that's copyrighted for sure. I Nothing is too gay for El Grey, and hey, El Grey gave me the win. I don't know why I got the win, but Cynthia loves you, Mikowski, and El Grey loves me, so together that makes nothing. A three-way is no way to get one girl. That's what El says. <clears throat> Matt Mikowski can definitely read, which I love about him. Uh, I you missed the Brady joke in my post, Matt Mikowski. She's very upset with me about that. Yeah, hey, invite, invite Mike Elgin in so we can <laughs> have a Mikowski. If Mike Elgin is Hold coming on. to this chat. It's not Hold where, where, did, where was there a Cindy Brady joke? There wasn't. She, I have no idea what she You was were saying how you had the hot for Cindy Brady. Yeah, but then she says I missed the Cindy Brady joke in her post. Okay. And she's very upset with me. Yes. Well, she'll well, there's only one way I can make that up to her, and that is to fly her to Buffalo. That is the best prize of all. Where do you live? Where do I live? Who are you yeah. talking to? When you're not in Buffalo. I know where you live. Where does Kowski live? I, my home base is Orlando. Orlando. That wait a minute. That was copyrighted. You cannot say Orlando like that. Orlando is copyrighted. Yeah. Orlando Brown. Orlando. Mom? Orlando. Um, Oddly enough, goes? both the Mikowski's children are named Orlando. Orlando yeah, Mikowski. They, they are both copyrighted. So but what do you do? What is there to do in Orlando besides? Is there anything to do in Orlando besides Disney World and just Mikowski? Universal Studios. I mean, you've got the Disney Universal. ride, you've got the Mikowski ride. M- Mikowski, does it yeah. bother you that pe- so many people come to Orlando just to uh, see I don't Mickey Mouse? I don't live near the theme parks. I live 45 yeah. minutes north of that. Oh, so Orlando is a big place. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do this summer? It's like me saying to you, or like a New Yorker, another New Yorker that lives Maybe. in New York, uh, you know, is anything other, other to do than go to the Statue of Liberty? Anything else? <laughs> Actually, there isn't, surprisingly enough. It's, that's the only thing in New York. Is the Statue it's of Liberty. And Statue of Liberty is not even like it's in water. So Wait a minute. Like, I think the Statue of Liberty is copyrighted. We can't talk about her. No, it's a Statue of Liberty play, football play that's copyrighted, not the actual thing. Oh well, we can't say the word either way. Mikowski, you know Mikowski, you're rebelling. I don't like it. Well, that's because he's got swagger. This summer, I'm leaving my kids at Mikowski's house with his kids, and they can just stay there all summer and go to. The fuck you is. The fuck you are. Whoa. Because you know Whoa. what? Did she mention that there's money involved? And by money, she means sex. That's how she pays for things. That's how she pays for things. <laughs> that's how, that's she how she buys. you get things done, you know? That's what we meant. Uh, yeah, so they're going to be with him. Uh, well, no, actually, with his wife. He won't. Cause he won't be ever. there. And they're going to stay there ever. for the summer. Ever in a day. They will well, never, actually, ever, my ever. kids go to school year round, so it's just for like six or seven weeks. So that's okay. Does anyone want us to wrap this motherfucker up? Over? Oh, all right. No, I, no, I, I was just, I, I'm really stuck on this plan of having them gone all summer. And I think it's it, on it. Jane, what time do you actually, don't you have like a bedtime or no? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Mikowski? I think that was evident last night. Mikowski, do you have to fly anytime soon or no? Uh, I do need, I require eight hours of sleep before my next flight. Is that like in the regulation? Federation? In the regulation. Most Don't sing time for me to fly. Um, so, what is it, so are you actually physically flying tomorrow yourself? He's so flying right flight. now. Will you be the person controlling the controls? Uh, I'll be check piloting. Uh, check piloting. When do you get yeah. to actually really fly, like Travolta style? I, I fly two weeks a month. I'm hands on two weeks a month. I fly you, the line. Do you fly? Do you, As do you, they say, Rapport, I fly the line. Two weeks why months. is it? Do, would you not? You don't want to fly commercially? You don't want to be the commercial I do. Pilot? I, I do. I, I do it two weeks a month. Sometimes I'm in the simulator. Sometimes I'm doing check piloting. Wait, like, when you're simulating, that counts as a flight? No, no, that that counts as training. So they need to keep us under constant training so we don't go wacko. Oh. Good thing I was there that day to take that flight in. Were you yeah. were you a pilot in two thousand and one? I was a pilot in the war. Which one? That one. <laughs> wow. That one. And, the and you and you. You like to talk about it. I can't. I can't say any more than that. <laughs> okay. We're coming in too. What's that line from Airplane the movie? He says we're coming in from the north at the below the radar. And she says, when will you be back? He says that's classic. Classified. <laughs> have you ever flown in a fighter plane? No, I have not. Would you? Do you think you'd be able to, or no? Uh, no, it's a whole other. That's a whole other animal. Yeah, that's more, way more dangerous. 
That's that's it, like, way be, that's way beyond my, my my neurotic. Wait, your pay grade, your neurotics. Way beyond my neurotic, my neuroses can handle. Neuroses. Now, being like being a pilot, do you do your ears pop and all that? You're you are you used to it? Doesn't happen. I'm not I'm not an infant. My ears do not pop. Why? Anymore. I'm not an infant, and my ears pop all the time. Well, well that's because you have TMJ. You should oh. take something for that. You Allergies. Have Maybe there's a cream. You've got a lot of mucus in your head that needs to clear up. Maybe mucus. So. A lot of Jews have a lot of mucus. Did you wow. ever notice? Yeah, there was a Woody Allen movie called Mucus Pucus. Hocus Pocus. I don't know. Remember, the, remember did you ever see uh, the sex? What was the Woody Allen movie with the sex? Um, Everything you wonder about sex. Everything you wonder about sex and he's a yeah. sperm. Yeah, oh, I love that one. Oh, and I'm going to hit the ceiling. They're, they're running through, right? And he says, what if, what if it's a blowjob? <laughs> now all you think about is animal house. Right. Huh? Well, there's this, the courtroom scene where they're going. It was a pleasure to have both you and um, you. Can you think of quotations? And Jane. Uh, it was a pleasure. It was the pleasure was all yours. I mean, my uh, pleasure. It was a pleasure. Pleasure of all quotes. I think these are copyrighted, so I don't know. Can't even do the quotes because that's copyrighted. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Poor Rod Live comments. Yeah. yeah, poor me. Lynette Young enjoys Game of Thrones. That's what we got out of that one. Right. Yeah. Almost, so she's not she's not joining in. She is yeah. probably asleep because when it's a G talker, she is not there mm. at all. No oh. Grace is nothing is too gay for her. Well, that's true. It's it's a fact of fact. A uh, fact of homa homa. Maybe we can sing this, the national anthem. As we well can. As well. But uh, so that was an awesome plus payment show. I'm so what about it'll public domain? You can't sing anything in public domain? I mean, if you know for a fact that it's okay, then yeah. But you uh, like happy birthday in public domain. No, no, no. Uh, actually, Ryan went, Ryan went, Ryan went to get in trouble for that or something. How about That's crazy. Help? I'd rather just not. I'd rather just oh, not. Oh, I was just, it. I'm not going to sing. I was just curious. Now, here comes the bride. But we play the word you bride. do realize I'm a cog in this whole thing, too, even though I appear to be. Here more. comes the Jew. Whoa. Satire is fun. Fair use. All right. Here comes in your hair twice a day. So you can hair. say that. You are talking to me so like I you made you the rules. <laughs> so I am not the maker. I am just a show. How come you can do the songs on YouTube? No, I don't. That's not even on YouTube. That's, oh. Yeah, you, you can ah. listen. There's a difference between a recording yeah. and something Sorry, live. Sorry, it fell out. So, and I don't know That's what the difference said. is, but once they figure it, that is the difference. The fact is, once it's recorded, I guess advertising dollars can be made, but live, there's no advertising dollars to be made right now. Maybe in the future it'll be allowed. I don't know. Listen, YouTube has had a lot of issues, and they just want to make clear their That's butts. issues, because issues, issues is copyrighted, but issues, hey, issues. Hey, Matt, do you want to, um, you want to open a new website with me called YouTube? Uh, doesn't it sound like that already exist? Does it? YouTube exists? I don't know if it's called YouTube. Well, let's do it dot, dot org. Do you you want to do any, do you have any shixes on there? No shixes is allowed. No <laughs> shixes is because they went too many clothes, right? The only shixes allowed in my book is Cynthia Parrott. Wow. I'll let her in. Shixes appeal? She's an honorary. She's got she's got major shakes appeal. You ever see her photographs? I have plus bucked her. Wow. Many many. Ah, there many goes times. boom. There goes dynamite. <laughs> that was the plus payment show for Monday, whatever it's April. Uh, what is it? The ninth, two thousand twelve. Navikowski fisticuffs. We can hang out more afterwards. Maybe this thing we'll can be dangerous. Out. This thing is a shared moment um, between. Put them up. Put your dukes up. I don't got it. I order. Hey. Hey. Matt Rapport here. Nice to meet you. Actually, fight like this. Who the hell fights like this? Nobody fights like this. You back next week. Please let us know in the comments if you want him back next week. If you want him more featured, less featured. You want to see more of his features. You want Jane Allen to wear less clothes, more clothes. You want me hey, to? Hey, I've got sing. some metal on. Heavy metal. All right. Isn't that enough? Mina yeah. Mikowski gave me this. I vote on two things: less Mikowski and less clothes. Period. More Rapport, less clothing. More Jane Allen, less Mikowski. Are you saying Mikowski didn't have a good time? Mikowski had an awesome time. Is that right? You saying Mikowski people didn't always like has you? a good time. But hey, there's still three people watching, and one of them is probably me, one of them is probably you. <laughs> it's the three of us. That's lovely. But they call it. And that's why they call it the plus payment, Joe.
the plus tank. So we're done now? Or we're doing the dating game? No. Uh, kiss so now? wait a minute. Did you, one last thing before you... You just said you again. One last thing before we go. One last thing. Did you like the meme that I did of, of, of Top Gun, the plus taming? I did. And for those who didn't see it, we the little Top Gun meme where uh, one of us is Iceman and one of us is uh, Maverick. Not Iceman. Because <laughs> I really wanted to say... Because what I wanted to say was, it's, I wanted to do the impersonation. It's plus payment, Ice Man. <laughs> no, I got I got that. That was that was pretty clear, Crystal. Uh, ice. What was that? Are we clear? Crystal. Crystal. Are we clear? That's Ooh, another movie altogether. That's, top, that's not Top Gun. No, it's Tom Cruise running Tom Cruise kick. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> it, are we are we clear, son? Are we clear? Crystal. Did you know that when Tom Cruise signs into a, a hotel, he uses the name Matt McCaskey? Well, who doesn't? Do you know when I, I do you know when I when I sign my taxes, I use the name Matt McCaskey? And that's why I owe no money in you at all. I said, I said, is there any other kind of danger? And you said, no, is there, is there an other kind of danger? Is there... Is Would you, you like me to read have to read me back my words, you pipsqueak son, you... Uh, you ever uh, served an infantry son? Never served. <laughs> you, did you ever Dukowski? Did you? You, who's going to guard that wall? You, Dukowski? You don't want me on that wall. Kevin you need Pollock, me on that wall. Kevin Pollock was on that movie, too. So it was Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon is in... And, and we all love Bacon. Debbie Moore. And Kevin Bacon was in Animal House. Yes. Whoop. Six right degrees. Full oh. circle. What was, wait, what was the hotter scene? When Belushi was watching them naked or when the nerds or men nerds were watching them naked? No, Belushi. Belushi. Belushi? Yeah. Why is that? Because it was what? just very intimate with that girl in the window. Yeah. I Would was, you say that... I was seven and went home and masturbated the first time. I mean, <laughs> Belushi in that scene, it's like different from Revenge of the Nerds. They're, they're more gawking and amazed, but he's more love struck. It, it was just intimate is the word. He was just more genuine. Really? You think Belushi was love struck? You don't understand that you don't talk about in parties. Oh my god, we're back on that. All right, plus damage show. Thanks for watching. What do you think, guys? Mwah. Mwah. Oh, That's not copyrighted. Thank you. Nikowski, <laughs> thank you. Can't see it. Can't see, see it. See ya. Oh.